Okay, I'm recording it already. So what I want you to do is is I'll tell you 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 don't have to watch where you put your finger over there, but it's running. It's running. Uh, it's running. Yeah. So <clears throat> I'm going to show you how I use the PEX tubing. This is half inch PEX as a support for row cover. Uh, let's take a look at the end of it. I cut these at about a 45 degree angle with a lopping shear. A good hand printer might, but I use my shear. End to end, these are about 66 inches. And that gives me enough hoop to cover a 30 plus inch bed. And what I do is, I've already got a bunch of the hoops already put in, but I take the one end and poke it down. I gotta have my leather gloves on because my hands slip on it, but the leather holds it. The ground is fairly soft because we've had lots of rain. If it's much harder, then you have to use something to poke a hole and then poke it, poke it in the hole. But that's the way I do it. I can, when it really gets cold, I'll put one layer of row cover underneath the hoops over the crop like that. And then the other layer goes over the hoops like this. And I weighed it down on the sides with with uh, sandbags. Uh, one of the things I like about the PEX is it's so easy to pick up and move. It's light, it's flexible. It has, it comes in a coil, so it's already kind of preformed. And there, there's been a, an issue raised by several people in comments that PEX is not UV protected. These hoops are over two years old. Most of what we use them for is in the early spring and late fall and winter. And there's very little UV compared to middle of summer. I'm not worried about these. I think they'll last five or six years without breaking down. And uh, I love them. So anyway, that's my take on PEX as a hoop. If I'm going to go with a larger hoop, I'll go from half inch to three quarter inch PEX. And I can make a hoop that would cover a lot larger crop and even a wider bed. Uh, we don't have a terrific amount of snow, but last year in the winter time I did get some snow and it kind of laid the, some of the hoops down, but snow melted, it warmed back up and I come right back up again. So I, I love them. When I used uh, half inch EMT, the biggest problem I had with that is I couldn't get it bent to the exact size I wanted for my, my bed. And then they were very, very difficult to store and to move around. I hated them. Uh, I've tried to use wire. It doesn't give you enough support. Um, this, is, this is what I've come to. I've even used uh, uh, pieces like this of the... Uh, just plain old PVC pipe, and that works for a fairly large hoop, but they're awful hard to bend, and uh, they don't bend consistently. So this is what I settled on. That's it.